Hey, welcome back to the shop. Got a bit of a honeydew task in front of me today. Wife liked the uh, the regular towel holder rack so much, she wanted uh, a paper towel rack holder for under the cabinet. Yeah, so here's the basic plan. Um, this is our the, this is a elevation view, side view. This is the uh, cabinet. There's an area seven eighths of an inch deep underneath that we'll put our board. Then we'll have another board coming down and another board here very technical. You, you'll see in a moment. Alright, so we're going to do a bit of a hand-waving analogy here. So here's the plan. We're going to have a piece of wood that mounts to the underside of the cabinet. We're going to have another piece of wood joined to it that comes down and sets our elevation for the dowel rod that will be used to actually store the paper towel. Paper towel will slide onto here and we're going to need to have some kind of end cap. So that's pretty much it. We just need to figure out dimensions. So let's do that now. Tape measure. Check. Paper towels. Uh, rough mock-up of what we want to do. Check, check, and check. So the wife has said she wants this to be as far up as we can go. So one thing to take into account is a paper towel holder does not sit in the center of the rod. It sits on the bottom of it, right? So like this. So really we're concerned with being able to clear whatever we have on the end of this that will keep this in place. Uh, but as far as elevation to the top of this thing, I'm going to leave a half inch. Three and a half from the very top of all this. Where we want to put the hole for the rod. Cool. Layout done. That simple. Never seen a paper towel cut by a table saw, have you? I'm just joking. Just joking. Come on. Alright, here we go. This thing is just so filthy. Ah, gets everywhere. Alright, we're slowly whittling her down to final dimensions. So let's go seven inches here. And then whatever the remainder is, is what the top piece will be. Alright, she's a bit upside down right now, but right in, we're, this is roughly how she's going to be. Alright, so let's do some drawing. Arts and crafts time. We need to come down roughly three in. Did I say three or three and a half? Three and a half, I think. If not, you'll have a good chuckle, won't you? Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. I can't see down in there. I'm running out of these things. Ugh. Tell you what, best thing I ever did was uh, salvage a piece of furniture that somebody threw out on the side of the road and grab these, because these little dowels have been coming in handy for all sorts of projects. So yeah, that's roughly where our hole will be. Right there. Okay, no chance of clearing. This is roughly where the bottom is, so what's it going to be roughly? Alright, so that's, that gives us approximate location of where the bottom of our towel hang down. So what we'd like to do is cut, I think, just a hair smaller? Bigger? I mean, as this thing, as the towel gets smaller and smaller and smaller, you're, you'll see more and more of this. All right, design-wise, what makes more sense is if this was skinny, would it look better? I kind of like the idea of doing something like this. Something like that, I think. I think that could be elegant. Uh, next question is: Are we gonna? We don't want to come up short on the edges here, so I kind of like the way that's starting to look. As a, I mean, as far as the shape goes, I, I like the shape. Yeah, I could live with that. 
Oh, what if we beveled this too on the table? Yes! Bevel. We're gonna bevel it. Oh, that's gonna set her off nice. So we just finished sanding, uh, cutting and sanding these. Let's talk next steps. Next thing we need to do is go to the bathroom. I gotta be like crazy. We need to drill a hole to accept our dowel rod. So we need to one, determine the size of the dowel rod. Two, determine uh, whether what bit will make the hole we need. Glue and push it in. Once that's done, it's gonna be awfully hard to do anything where this needs to be flat. All right, now for the glue up and we'll just get it roughly where it needs to be on the sides and then apply some clamping force like so so let's do that Okay, now we check for square and adjust until she is square. Make sure everything's sitting flat and down on everything. Still square. Okay, and now we let it cook for about a minute 45 at 400 degrees Fahrenheit until nice and golden brown or the cheese starts crusting on top. So the glue's had some time to, uh, to set up. So what we're going to do now is try to reinforce this joint with some dowels. I've uh, made a few test holes until I found a drill bit that works for me. Somebody threw out this uh, piece of oak dowel a while back. I'm going to use that to reinforce it with, uh, with some glue as well. Plan is just to kind of coat these in glue, put a goodly bit of glue in the hole. This is just gonna schmoo out everywhere, but uh, at least we'll we'll know that there's plenty of glue in there. All right, go ahead and use your paper towel from your paper towel holder. Now, how are we gonna get these off? Japanese pull saw, of course. One of these bad boys right here. Alright, so this is going to get a paint finish put onto it, so we don't really have to worry too much about, you know, discoloration or things like that. So, just like that, that's how she's going to sit. We're going to screw this onto the underside of our cabinet. And we will pull off our paper towel like so. Next thing to address, and probably the last thing, is we need something here that will give us a shelf or something that this can push against to keep it from sliding off. So after much arguing with the committee in my head, it was decided that we'd just uh, lop off a slice of this, drill a hole to match the end of this, and stick her on and glue her on. I can use a handsaw to cut through very soft wood. You do need to learn how to use your handsaws because, you know, zombie apocalypse is coming and electricity will be scarce. I don't like the way that looks. I really don't kind of really don't like the way that looks either. It, it just it lacks something. It lacks a certain flair. I mean, we have these sweet, sweet curves and we have nothing on this. We need to solve that. I may have the solution. But it's going to involve... Like many great men of the past, I will use hot glue as an expedient. 26 minutes? Well, guess I can find something to do in that time. It's because you're too lazy to just get a chamfering bit, Josh, and you did all these little levels.
it. Slight change in plans. Uh, decided not to paint it, so we're finishing it in teak. So, there's the end on her. I think it looks much better than the other way. You could put like a Starship Enterprise on this thing or something. <gasps> that would be fun to do in a CNC. Alright, let's go see what it looks like uh, all hung up and ready to go.